Hello, and welcome to Parasoft JTest Unit Test Assistant. In this video, we will continue our unit testing journey by leveraging the JTest Unit Test Assistant to see and improve the code coverage of our tests. Many organizations use code coverage as a quality metric and require a specific level of code coverage to be met as part of their quality initiatives because it helps identify parts of the application which are untested and therefore at risk of containing bugs. First, we'll create a simple test which provides only partial coverage as an example starting point. Then, we will use the coverage view to understand our current coverage. And finally, we will use several techniques to increase the code coverage of our tests. I'll be demonstrating in IntelliJ, but the same actions can be taken in Eclipse as well. Let's start by creating an example test which provides partial coverage so that we can identify the gaps and see how to fill them in. We'll continue to work with the JTest example project and the account class from previous videos. In the account class, locate the isOverdrawn method. This method has multiple code paths to cover. Since we want an example test with low coverage, let's use the guided test creation workflow to create a simple test. Place your cursor anywhere inside the method and use the regular action to create a test. In the generated test, the customer object needs to be non-null. So let's select it and mock it using the unit test assistant action. Also, set the balance passed to is overdrawn to 1,000, and uncomment the example assertion to complete the test. To understand the coverage provided by our new test, we will use the coverage view. The coverage view displays information about your code coverage based on the unit tests executed. It can show you the overall coverage for your project, as well as identify any gaps in coverage so that you can focus your attention on them. Coverage data can be loaded into the view by running tests locally, or by importing code coverage data from a CI-CD test run via Parasoft DTP, a local file, or a URL. Since we don't have any coverage data yet, let's execute our new unit test to populate the view. Make sure the file is saved and run the test via the unit test assistant view. Once the test executes, the coverage view will be updated to show the code coverage data for all executed code. Let's expand the tree to show coverage of the account class. We see that the overall coverage of account is about 29%, and the isOverdrawn method is only 21%. We can also switch back to the editor for the account class and see red and green markers, indicating which lines are covered or not covered by our test. This is the starting point for our example. Let's make it our goal to cover 100% of this method. Now, without JTest, attaining high coverage metrics can be a time-consuming process. You have to figure out which lines in the method are not covered, then either create a new test from scratch or find an existing test to reuse and extend. You would need to know how to configure new tests with the proper values or mocks and which tests to reuse and extend. Rather than spending lots of time doing that manually, the unit test assistant can perform many of those tasks for you. The easiest way to improve code coverage is to simply generate tests for the code. Let's click the Create Test Suite action. Make sure that account.isOverdrawn is checked and click OK. The unit test assistant will optimize the test creation process so that it only adds new tests 
to our existing test class that increase the code coverage. Once that process is complete, click OK on the summary dialog and see that new tests have been generated. So now that we've generated additional tests, let's run all of them to see our new coverage metric. Is Overdrawn is now 100% covered. Not bad. The unit test assistant added those two additional tests to cover the two uncovered code branches that we had previously. Now, there are situations you, where you may not be able to use this technique to increase coverage. For instance, suppose that you have an existing set of test cases that partially cover your application, but they contain customizations or complex setup unique to your application, which the assistant may not generate automatically. In this case, we would rather make a copy of an existing test and modify it to cover a new block of code. The unit test assistant can do this via its coverage recommendations. Let's enable these recommendations by opening the Parasoft menu and choosing Settings. Expand Parasoft, Unit Test Assistant, and choose Recommendations. Enable the Uncovered Code Recommendation, and then click OK. To get back to our low coverage state that we had before, let's delete the newly added tests. Make sure you save that. And let's clear the coverage view to clear out the additional coverage from those tests. Now we can rerun all tests. And notice that there are two recommendations regarding uncovered code. Let's examine the first one. The unit test assistant has identified an area of uncovered code. You can click on the go to action to jump to the uncovered code in question. In this case, the uncovered code is the entire else block starting on line 85. To cover that else block, you need a test which calls is overdrawn with a negative value. Let's leverage the assistant to cover the code by creating a modified copy or a clone of the existing test. Click the clone test link in the recommendation. The assistant displays a list of existing tests based on the previous execution, which could be cloned and modified to cover the untested area of code. If multiple tests exist, the system will recommend a specific test that will get you closest to covering the untested code. In this case, the assistant knows how to modify the clone for us. Make sure the existing test is selected and press OK. The unit test assistant will quickly clone the test in your test class with updated values. Everything about the cloned test is duplicated, including the assertion, but it's using negative one for the balance argument. Go ahead and run the tests now to see the updated coverage data. In the coverage view, is overdrawn is now 64% covered, so we're getting closer to our coverage goals. You may notice that the new test failed because it didn't update the assertion. In this case, we can choose Invert Assertion in the recommendation to update it. If we look back at the account editor, we'll see that the green markers have been updated for the newly covered code. 
there's still one uncovered block of code here. We could use a coverage recommendation again, but this time, let's use a different technique to see how it works. Place your cursor inside the uncovered block and use the cover the line action. This action analyzes the specific code path you have selected to create a single pre-configured test that covers that code. The unit test assistant has created a new test. You can see that the new test is set up similarly to the previous ones, but in this case, it calls is overdrawn with negative 500, which will enter that final uncovered block of code. As before, let's uncomment the example assertion. And let's save that and run all the tests in the suite with the run all action. Once that finishes, the new test fails again because we still need to update example assertion. The is overdrawn method is now covered at 100%. The coverage view shows this, along with the updated total coverage for the entire class, package, and project. And there you go. The unit test assistant helps you increase and achieve code coverage metrics quickly. JTest is now filling in all the gaps of your unit testing journey. For more details about coverage, feel free to look through our online documentation. Thanks for watching.